Hello students, how are you? Fit? Okay. Fine. I am fit and fine. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you. Be happy, keep smiling. Okay. Silent. Today we are here to learn English grammar. Chapter number 1. The sentence from standard 5th. But before starting this chapter, let me tell you. This channel name is Study and Sports Education. Study and Sports Education. So, subscribe this channel. Press the bell icon to get the notifications of all the videos. Like this channel. Share this video to your friends that they can also take the benefit of this chapter or this part. So, my name is Prakash. Let's start our chapter. Chapter number 1. English grammar, the sentence from standard first. So here is the question. Question number one, what is called a sentence? A group of words that makes complete sense is called a sentence. What do you mean by group of words? Let me explain. Group of words means this is one alphabet. So, many more alphabets makes a group. So, this is called a group and also written a group. This is also a group, one or two alphabets. This is also a group. This is also a group. This is also a group. So, here is the sentence. A group of words that makes complete sense is called a sentence. For example, let's see the example. Here is the example. Example number one, a cow eats grass. This is a simple sentence and this is a complete sense of sentence and it is called a sentence. Let's come to the second example. Rahul goes to school. This is also a complete sentence and a meaningful sentence. Let's see the second question. What the second question is? saying to us what are the rules to make to follow for making a sentence clear so there are some rules when we are writing a sentence to make a complete sense so there are some rules so let's see what are the rules related to make a complete sentence first number one it must make a complete sense okay it must begin with a capital letter Okay, it must end with the correct punctuation mark, which can be, which can be any one of the following. So, to make a complete sentence, there are some rules and in that rules, there are some followings. So, the followings are a full stop, here is the mark of full stop, a question mark, here is the mark of question mark, a mark of exclamation mark, here is the mark. Here is the exclamation mark. So, related to this, we are having all the examples. And we are going to use all these functions, punctuation marks, which are related to this sentence to make a complete sense of sentence. Let us see. First, it says it must be a complete sense. It is a complete sense of sentence. Second number, it must begin with a capital letter. Here is a capital letter, here is a capital letter, here is a capital letter. Got it? Come to the third one. It must end with the correct punctuation mark which can be any one of the following. That means any one of the following. Here are the followings. So, in this simple sentence, we are using a capital letter. Then after the sentence, after the end of the sentence, we are using a full stop this one. Got it? Understandable? Clear? Very good. Come to the second example. Rahul goes to school. Clear? Again, we are getting a capital letter. Complete meaning sense. Then last, a full stop. Understood? Okay. Sima is a good girl. Full stop. Sima. S capital letter. 
got it clear understandable very good now we are going to the question mark part so why question mark why we are using question mark we are using the question mark because when we are we want to ask something or we want to ask something by writing clear so here is the question where are you going where are you going the question mark and also there is a capital letter beginning of the sentence again what is your name here is also a w the capital letter at the beginning of the sentence and last after that there is a question mark why question mark because you are asking something that means you are asking your friend what is your name or you are asking your unknown person what is your name then next you are asking someone where are you going so we are using the question mark clear understood very good that's it let's come to the c number following a mark of exclamation a mark of exclamation means this is the exclamation mark so let's understand what is this thing exclamation what is exclamation related to exclamation when exclamation means what now we are going to express something in a surprisingly way let's see the example how beautiful the city is we are using exclamation mark look at here and also beginning of the sentence there is h that means this is in a capital letter and it is in complete sense with exclamation mark that means you are expressing something you are saying wow how these are the examples so let's see the seven number example how clever are you exclamation mark and a capital letter hurray this is the word of exclamation by expressing something we won the match when you are playing something or you are um, going to win this and after winning that excitement comes out by this word hurray we won the match clear understandable understood very good so write down this or you can take a screenshot and also try to understand the concept if once you understand this concept you will be very clear to write a complete sentence write down fast let's start let's check same thing let's do the exercise now what is given in this exercise acha arrange the following group of words in proper word order to make a meaningful sentence this is in your textbook and the page number i think so it is a uh, uh, number 6 something ha yes yeah, 6 okay so i have given you the questions also the answers from 1 to 6 and next there are 10 questions something so um, okay here are all the six question answers and i will give you directly after this i will give you the remaining four answers so let understand what is this arrange the following group of words in proper order to make a meaningful sentence let's see students football and volleyball play v hockey this is something type of jumble means this question is given some words here some words there that means it is making you confusion making you in a confusion part so we have to write in a proper and in a complete sense with a meaningful sentence let's see how to write we play hockey answer we play hockey football and volleyball and we have to also make it in a complete sentence with a meaningful sense so there is a full stop at the end of the sentence and the beginning there is a w capital letter see the answer understood yes okay next question next question water me bring please a glass of is it a meaningful no yes it is not a meaningful we have to make it in a meaningful sentence look at here please p capital please bring me a glass of water and end there is a full stop got it third the river where 
in swimming boys the and also just mark it there is no full stop in the question there is no full stop in the question there is no full stop here also there is no any punctuation mark there is no punctuation mark so we are using the punctuation mark also and using capital letters also to make a complete sense and a complete sentence and a meaningful sentence clear okay the rivers were in swimming boys the answer the boys were swimming in the river got it four number there and look at here there in the middle of this sentence there is a question mark is this a correct this is correct no this is not correct we have to make it in a correct way so there question mark many how where people and this and this is making you puzzle the answer is how many people were there what is the capital letter is here and you have made this sentence in a question format you have made this question this this sentence this one this sentence you have made it in a question question mark type of sentence here is the question mark that means you have used the punctuation mark a proper punctuation mark and also you have used the capital letter and this is the meaningful sentence got it okay next come number 5 policy honesty best the is there is no full stop in this question and also this is not a proper way we have to make it in a order that means the word should be in proper order honesty is the best policy the best policy this is the answer six number the bloom the bloom the in garden flowers the flowers bloom in the garden this is the answer this is the answer this one is the question this one is the question and there it is after in the blanks one long line in the textbook so you have to write the answers in that and if you want you can write down now and you can take the screenshot also so here is this answer got it students happy okay so write down 